national trial resulted in 18 sexes. The test claimed that the population proportion of the sexes does not equal to 68%. Use a level of significance of alpha equal to 0 0.02. This is a significant level. It, alpha can be there, it doesn't matter. We can, you know, we see that's a significant level, usually smaller area. And sometimes in the problem, it says confidence level, which is, is usually bigger percentage. Okay, so what are the important stuff we should note it down here? So if I clearly see the first one, 35 binomials. So that is my total sample. A random, a random sample of 35, which is n, and clearly 18 is the x. Let's see what else is given. Test claim the population proportion. So we are doing one mean z proportion actually, one proportion z test clearly we're doing. Success does not equal to 60%. So we do p is equal to 0.60. And also we know the alpha. Okay, so one proportion z test. So what is that? So z is equal to phi hat, which is a sample proportion minus population proportion over square root of phi which is a success times q which is a failure over total sample size okay so this one is a phi hat or phi cap sample proportion minus the population proportion as you see this is given success here and over square root of phi, which is success, and q is 1 minus that. So if phi is 60%, q should be 40%. Over sample size n is 35. So what is not given? The phi hat is not given. So how do we find the phi hat? We find the phi hat. Phi hat, which is a sample proportion, is equal to x over the n. So x is 18 over 35 so x is 18 n is 35 18 over 35 i'm going to keep it like that i can convert into decimal but if i convert into decimal i'm going to lose some reliability so i'm going to just type this in my calculator if you want to do manually actually okay so since we're doing hypothesis so we have everything now ready since we are doing hypothesis test so the step one we basically have null and alternative hypotheses. That's always true, null and alternative hypothesis. So how do you write null hypothesis? Null hypothesis is basically h sub zero, which is the null hypothesis referential, right? Population proportion in this case is phi is equal to 0 0.60. Alternative hypothesis h sub a colon now, are you going to put less than or greater than or not equal? The problem really state that. It says it is not equal. So we know it's going to be not equal to 0 0.60. The claim about the population proportion. It's always true. Now, all in hypothesis, whatever the claim, first time we assume they're equal. Next time, we have three options, less than, greater than, or not equal. So we clearly see this does not equal, so we put not equal. So that's a null and alternative hypothesis. That's how we set it up. Step two. So step two, the test statistics. Okay, so the test statistics, we already have the information clearly. So let's take a look here. We can piece it together here. So I can put down the formula again. So formula is Z is equal to phi hat minus population proportion, the success, over square root of success times the failure over n. Remember, notice that this square root is all a stretch. So now we're going to type in, actually, I'll substitute everything. We know everything, we're just going to substitute it here. So, well, let's take a look here. What can we substitute? So phi hat, we're going to put down. 18 over 35 minus phi is 60% over square root of phi in this case is 0 0.60 times 
0.40 over square root of n which is 35 okay so what we have let's take a look here so this is n is 35 as you clearly see I can show you down here so that's n is 35 and that's the phi cap which is basically down here and that's the population proportion and some of you may think oh how we get this one actually here so this is 1 minus 0 0.60 that should be 0 0.40 that's how we find the failure okay so I'm going to erase that now if I type this in any calculator any simple calculator well uh, you know this calculator is very handy actually so I'm going to type in here n over d then of course 18 I'm going to put n over d again 18 over 35 and then go to the right side a little bit here minus 0 0.60 or 6 doesn't matter over we need a square root second x square since like we need a fraction so we're going to put a fraction here and 0.6 or 0 0.60 doesn't matter times 0 0.40 over 3 5 35 notice that I have I'm on I'm gonna just press enter you see negative one point so many big number so well it gives me one negative one point zero I'm gonna round to the fourth I'm gonna round three to the fourth because Z table doesn't have more than two decimals so we must round into two decimal places you can even do it here mode go to float and go to two decimal places enter clear enter as you see it's just rounding for you so that's how we can use this calculator is very handy so negative 1.04 so once I say that right there I have to actually change that to equal so this time is approximately approximately 1.40 so that's what that's the z statistic okay next thing we do step three that is the big fish here we're looking for phi value so there is a well we have to find the phi value but there is something we have to remember or we're going to actually make some um, in intuition how to come up with a decision actually so I'll, first we find the phi value so what is the phi value here so phi value is going to be we're going to go to the z table remember this is z test so we're going to go to z test negative 1.04 negative 1.04 so if you go down here negative 1.04 1.04 0.04 so this is 1.00 so that's basically the 0.1492 for one tail so 0.1492 remember this question is telling us that it's two tail test it's two tail so what do you have to do you have to multiply by two so you multiply by two so any simple calculator I did ahead of time and it gives me 0 0.2984 that's a phi value in other words this is the probability so how do you do that here so we can basically draw this up here the normal curve this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And that's a 50%. Now, if, if you look into this one on the right side or left side, they said negative 1.04, so negative 1 point, so it's a little bit above, or sorry, a little bit left this point negative 1.04 now we are looking for
we're looking for area well I can just use this actually well just like that this side and also since it is two tail we are going to go to the right side also same way so we are looking for the two tail area okay so clearly we see the answer we had that was for sorry about that that was for one tail as you see this is for one tail now this this piece is 14 or uh, 14.92 percent or 0.1492 plus this one or multiply by two is gives this piece and this piece is 29.84 okay so now how do we find how do we decide that we keep the null hypothesis or we don't keep the null hypothesis we reject the null hypothesis or we fail to reject the null hypothesis let's take a look here our decision so our decision is going to be basically if p value if p value is greater than or equal to alpha we do not reject we do not reject null hypothesis now let's take a look here so what is our fee value and what is our probabilitical uh, well what is the alpha is given here okay so if i look into here on top the alpha is given as a 0.02 percent so i'm going to compare it actually here so alpha is given as a 0 to 0, 0 0.02 alpha is given as a 0.02 whereas this p value is we found 0.2984 so this p value is way bigger than the alpha so we do not reject the null hypothesis clearly you see p value that's the p value is greater than or equal to alpha this is alpha two percent again this is the threshold actually okay two percent this is basically outside here but this is inside the probability is inside so as you see this two percent is outside so we reject we do not reject it's falling inside actually so we do not reject the null hypothesis so we say we fail to reject fail to reject null hypothesis so that is our decision here how do we write our conclusion so our conclusion is very straightforward we say at 2% significant level data does not provide sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis and we just add the last sentence or claim again whatever alpha that's how we write a conclusion or interpret it at 2% significant level what is the alpha you convert to percentage at 2% significant level the data does not provide sufficient evidence to conclude that the population proportion of successes does not equal to 60% that's how we write the conclusion okay so that's how we write conclusion here so we say at 2% significant level the data does not provide sufficient evidence to conclude that just the last sentence we write down here as you see that the population proportion does not equal to 60 the population proportion equal to 0 0.60 that's all this is a five step hypothesis test first we found out the key information and whatever is missing we look for that sample proportion we always find x over the n little bit portion over the fixed trial or fixed number sample size 
that's how we found we usually keep it like that so we write type in and then null hypothesis is equal or alternative is not equal because it's not equal down here and the statistics we just plug it in everything in we make sure you round up two decimal places to use z table once we do z table find the z table and we look into this negative 1.04 and that gives area of that give that give us area 0 0.1492 since it is two tail if it is left tail or right tail we just should be happy with this but since it is two tail don't forget to multiply by two or just add another one with this is going to give us the sophie value is 29.84 percent little short of 30 percent and once we have that then of course now we have to compare the significant level which is a two percent if we value greater than or equal to alpha clearly you see well some of us remember that or some of us have hard time to remember that so remember so this is basically a threshold as you see right but the threshold i want to make sure we get this again this is little over two percent as you see the alpha is maybe down here somewhere to the right side so it's really going outside so definitely uh you know we have a lot of stuff inside so this really falling here so we are good so we keep we do not reject the null hypothesis in other words we fail to reject we keep the null hypothesis and we just conclude the conclusion like that way okay thank you